and welcome back to the Word Conscious Classroom, where we are consciously and deliberately building our students' vocabulary knowledge and word consciousness. Today, we are doing a language review. We are going to proofread our sentences. Now, I'm going to tell you a little trick. When you proofread, you must read like a detective. You must read each and every word carefully with a sharp eye. You must check for capitalization, punctuation, spelling, and does the word, or in this case, does the sentence make sense? So let's do some proofreading. All right, here we're going to do a language review. The directions say to rewrite each sentence carefully. So we're going to check for capitalization, punctuation, spelling, and does it make sense? Okay, so here's our first one. There were cake and ice cream to eat. Let's look for capitalization. The sentence is not beginning with a capital, so let's give it a capital. There. There were cake and ice cream to eat. That doesn't make sense. It should probably should be, there was cake and ice cream. Ice cream, let's make sure we spell that right, to eat. And put our period. Every sentence has to end with a punctuation mark. Let's check and see if we are correct. Yes, we're correct. And we're ready for the next one. When you're reading and proofreading, you're looking at each and every word. So if you're not getting them correct, it means that you missed something. And good detectives don't miss any clues. So let's do another practice. Mrs. Smith lived next door to us. Hmm, does that make sense? Let's check for capitals. Mrs. should be capital because that is a person's name. It's a proper noun. Mrs. Smith live next door? That doesn't make sense lives next door, lives next door to us. Now, every sentence should end in a punctuation mark. So, let's give it a period. Let's check and see how we did. And we got it correct. Here's our next one. She wasn't home yesterday afternoon. Let's check and see. Does our sentence begin with a capital letter? end with a punctuation mark. Check for spelling. And does it make sense? Let's see. She wasn't home yesterday, so we need a capital. She wasn't. We need our punctuation mark because that is a contraction. Wasn't. She wasn't home. Oh, let's don't forget yesterday afternoon. We need to add a period because that is the end of the sentence. Let's check. Yay! Here's our next one. I think fall be the prettiest season. Okay, we're going to check and make sure the sentence begins with a capital letter. All the spelling is correct that we have our proper punctuation, and that the sentence makes sense. So I'm looking at the sentence and it does not have a capital letter at the beginning. Let's see. I think fall be, oh, that doesn't make sense. Fall will be, will be the prettiest, Oh, look how that was spelled. 
Sometimes we have words in our sentences that we're not really sure how to spell. So we could use our iPad and we could ask Siri to tell us how to spell prettiest or we can go to dictionary.com or any other word um, reference tool and see how to properly spell it. With all the technology around us, there are easy ways to look up the spelling for a word. I think fall will be the prettiest. So let's put the correct spelling, pretty. Pretty has a Y, but because I'm adding EST, I changed the Y to an I and add the EST. I think fall will be the prettiest season and our period. Let's check. Did we get that correct? No. Uh, uh, we missed something. What did we miss? Let's see. I think fall. Oh, is, should fall be capital? Is that the name of a season? Let's check and see. No. I think fall will be the prettiest season. Okay, I give up. Let's hit the give up button. Surrender. And let's see what was the correct answer. I think fall is. Oh, we used the wrong verb. So I could see why we got that wrong. Because fall will be, that one was tricky. So if you got that one wrong, give yourself a check for that in your mind because that was a tricky sentence. Let's try this one. We'll have to rake leaves on Tuesday. Okay, let's make sure our sentence begins with a capital. We, oh, oh, this is a contraction. I need to put my apostrophe. We'll have to rake leaves on uh, Tuesday is the name of the day of the week. We'll have to rake leaves on Tuesday. Okay, I think we got it all. So, we're gonna check for punctuation, we're going to check for spelling, check for capitalization, and does it make sense? We'll have to rake leaves on Tuesday. Let's check, let's see how we did. Yay! So we got four correct. So to consider this as a mastered skill, like you're getting close to being a master detective, we should at least get four to five correct. So four out of five is not bad. Three out of five is like, okay, we're not quite a master detective, but we're getting close to there. Two out of five means that we don't have our detective eyes on. So we have to put on our sharp eyes and read through the sentence very carefully, very slowly. Don't let it trick us like the one sentence did trick us. Okay, well, thanks for watching. We're going to do more practice with this.